Listen, I've got this whole high school thing psyched out. It all breaks down into cliques. Cliques? Yeah, you know, cliques. Little in-groups of different kids. All we have to do is click with the right click, and we can finally have a social life that's worthy of us. No way. Not even with cleavage. I told you, this year we're going to be popular. Yeah? Yeah. Even if it kills us. I'm concerned, Marshall could win the science fair hands down if he put a tag on his foot and entered himself. Or he could enter Johnny. World of science stunned by talking vegetable. Right. Frankly, I don't know what's with Marshall lately. He's been following me around all the time. I think he thinks I like him. Well, you do like him, but not that way. I don't even like him that much the other way. Did you make the mistake of laughing at one of his jokes? Of course not. But at lunch today, he asked me if he could have my braces after I have them removed. <laughs> so I said, sure, Marshall. These braces have known germs, decay, loogies, old spinach. I can't think of anyone else I'd rather give them to. Lauren, that is so disgusting. That's what I thought. But instead, Marshall starts dancing around like an idiot and singing, she loves me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there in the middle of the cafeteria in front of everybody. Her men funny. Men? I'm talking about Marshall. <laughs> Fat chance we'll find any men around with Marshall and Johnny hanging around us all the time, ruining any chance we may have for popularity. I mean, look at Vinny and Jennifer. They don't have our problem. They are in love. But Vinny has yet to complete the evolutionary cycle. And Jennifer has yet to complete a whole sentence. But at least they have each other. Look, babe, you gotta stop fooling around with these senior guys. This is the last time I'm gonna tell you. I'm not gonna tell you again. Tell me what? Stop fooling around with the senior guys. This is the last time I'm gonna tell you. Look, I'm really trembling, okay? Hey, I just want to tell you, this is the last time I'm telling you. Vinny, I think you're starting to, like, repeat yourself. And this is WWEM, coming to you live from high atop the second floor of the Science Ed building. And this is Marshall Blackman wishing all you Wee Wee high schoolers and droolers a warm Wee Wee. Hi, and how are you this morning? Okay, and this next song is Love is Better Than Money by Armed Response, dedicated with L-O-V-E to a very special girl with very special braces. <laughs> Hey, man. I'm in love. Yeah? I like love. Love is good. <laughs> Don't you want to know who with? You're in love with someone? With Lauren. And I think Lauren loves me. She said I could have her braces. How will she walk? The braces on her teeth, airhead. Did she actually say she loved you? She's much too discreet. But in my book, when a girl gives someone her braces, that is a real serious commitment. She wouldn't have done it if she didn't love me. Now I just have to make her admit it. Here it is, the love detector. I sent away for it. See, it's a machine that scientifically measures how much a person loves someone. Do people know about this? Well, the ones that read this magazine do. I'm gonna enter this in the science fair. I'm working on a science project. A new fish food, made from pop rocks. Sounds like a real breakthrough. Okay, here's my plan. The science fair is gonna be the perfect excuse for me to try this thing out on Lauren. And when the needle here starts moving, she'll have to admit she loves me. What if the needle doesn't move? Well, I still got the braces. But Marshall, isn't the science fair for things you make yourself? That's right. 
So if you enter this machine, isn't that cheating? Sure. <laughs> but think of it, Johnny. With this invention, I can prove that love is something tangible that can be measured. I'll prove that Lauren loves me. And every guy can do the same thing with his girl. Not to mention vice versa. Love is gonna blossom at Wee Wee High. And the world and Lauren will beat a path to my door. Plus, I'll get some extra credit for entering the science fair. Wow. I gotta go over to his house tonight to work on this project for the science fair, you know? Why you have to do it at night? Because this project is like something that glows in the dark, you know? Okay, Jennifer. I told you I wasn't gonna tell you this again, and this is the last time I'm telling you. You have to stay away from those senior guys. Like, like what senior guys? Like Junior Pincus. I have information that you were seen on last Tuesday talking to him in the quad. Seen by who? By me. <laughs> and then on Wednesday, you were seen by me again walking to class with Harold Bovine. We have the same class, Vinny. Survey of typing. <laughs> and Friday? Friday, during intravarsity scrimmage, you said hello to Bubba Hines. Oh, you were wearing a, a low-cut blouse, and you leaned way over and you said, Hiya, Bubba. <laughs> I think you may have seen stuff. Vinny, like slavery was abolished like maybe 80 or 100 years ago, you know? Oh, yeah? Well, Lincoln didn't free the slaves so they could fool around. <laughs> Marshall dedicated a song to me on the radio. To you and your braces. Ugh, he should be taken off the airwaves. That's it. I'm phoning the FCC. People, Ms. Loomis had to leave because of a vital leg waxing appointment. She left me to carry on in her absence. This year, the science fair committee, of which I am chairperson, has decided that all projects for the upcoming science fair must first be approved by me, thereby avoiding any unfortunate incidents, such as last year when the ant farm broke. <laughs> now, Marshall Blackman will present his project. Girl, those guys look like something out of the circus. You know, Siamese freaks. <laughs> Behold, the creature breathes. <laughs> Down through the ages, mankind has pondered about the mysteries of love. What is it? How does it work? Where's mine? <laughs> well, after months of study and experimentation, I have discovered that love is an actual physical force that can be scientifically measured. And so, may I present to you, ladies and gentlemen, the Blechman LH700 Human Attraction Analyzer. Oh, outrageous. You got a van model? <laughs> My assistant, Dr. Slash, and I will now demonstrate. I will now call out the names of some well-known female personalities. My assistant here will think of them. And that needle will measure his love response. Christy McNichol. Lady Di. Miss Piggy. Oh, A 49 Merc chopped and channeled. <laughs> Now, let us try the analyzer on someone who's perhaps a little more appropriate. How about it, Lauren? Maybe it's time to shatter some illusions around here. Okay, Marshall. Sure, I'll try it. Then we'll see who I love and don't love. Yo, I got a better idea. Let's get Jennifer up here. Jennifer? Like, try, forget it. Are you out of your, like, mind? Don't worry about Vinny. Okay. Listen up. 
Junior Pincus. This is like beyond the valley of out of control. Harold Bullvine. Bubba Hines. I don't even like them. I knew I didn't warn you enough. Okay. Like, hey, fair's fair, right? Yeah. Let's see how you do. Hey, no big deal. Jennifer Denuccio. in front of all these people. I don't know what happened, Angel Face. I, th I think the machine's busted. Wow, like, I really feel used, you know? Well, that's a crack up. Me using you. You use me to carry your books. You use me to take you places and buy you stuff. You use me not to let me go out with other chicks. Okay, like, I'm sorry if you're too lame to handle the job. Don't worry. I know some guys who can. Yeah? Like Bubba Hines? <laughs> oh, we! It's time to duck and cover. People, please! Marshal, kindly hook me up. I cannot believe such a brouhaha over this dubious machine, which I am sure is hardly capable of measuring the complexity of human emotions, not to mention willpower. She who controls her emotions controls the machine. Now, I guarantee the needle will not move no matter what name you call out. The machine does work. <laughs> Stinker Marshal Fleckman. Remember the time you gave me a haircut and one side was shorter than the other? Well, maybe you just did it on purpose. Like I did, OK? Even the hamsters are breaking up, and it's your pal Marshall's fault. Prove what? I ain't proving nothing. Love stinks. This is worse than when the ant farm broke. Honestly, I could just barf. Johnny? Johnny, get out of there. What hath Marshall wrought? I mean, really, Marshall. What hath you? Well, they never show stuff like this on Lupa. She was keeping the braces. <laughs> His machine only broke Danuccio's heart. I mean, the girl is messed up. Like, I haven't been this bummed out since I bought this pair of Calvins, you know? And they were like fakes. I mean, they were made by starving people in some underworld country. Third world. Yeah, and like when I bent over, they made this real loud rip, like right in the worst place, you know? Like, I was so embarrassed, I almost went off my diet. See what I mean? She is destroyed. I hate that Marshall Blakeman. That's what we get for making friends with people who have no friends. Well, Marshall and Johnny did the same for us. You know, Patty, sometimes you miss the point completely. 
Well, don't turn on me, too. I'm sorry, Patty. I didn't mean it. I've got to find that creep, tell him to junk his machine, get out of the science fair, and while he's at it, get out of my life. And here is the flip side of love is better than money. Erase that. <laughs> that machine really backfired. Everyone hates me. I'm having nightmares. Boy, I'm so depressed. Depressed? I've got something for that. Taco flavored cheese balls. Well, I'm not hungry. But junk food's perfect for curing depression. <laughs> Remember when the dead boys broke up? I went through eight bags of pork rinds. Thanks anyway. Damn that Vinny! If you hadn't butted in yesterday and taken over that machine, I could have forced Lauren to admit that she loved me. Lauren, Lauren, Lauren's looking for you. I think she wants to talk to you. She does? Yes. I think she wants to tell you to get out of her life. Oh, great. Just what I need. I've lost my friends, I've lost my girl, I've lost my faith in love. And so because of that gland who walks like a man, Vinny Bassetta, he had, he had to come in into fear. Now I ask you, how can things be worse? Yo, Blutman! This way. Want some beef Newtons? <laughs> You and your machine are starting to annoy me, Blackman. So I borrowed it so we could make some alterations. Great. I'll go get my tools. I think they're at home. <laughs> Look, <laughs> Jennifer's mad at me because of that machine. So you got to rig it up so I can get it back. I could never do that. Hey, don't get moralistic on me, Pally. No, I, I mean, I don't know how. Don't worry about it. I got an idea. His remote control unit I stole from my parents' uh, garage door. Yeah, it might work. We'll need a DC adapter. Already got one. I ripped it off the Slash's Walkman. He didn't mind? He didn't notice. Hey, hey, we splice this stuff into the machine's response input. We can control the needle directly. Wow, I didn't know you knew about this stuff. Yeah, well, it kind of comes naturally to us walking glands. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry about that, you know? I, I was just so upset. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. I know what you mean. Women can drive you nuts. Why can't I understand? I mean, we're just ordinary, sensitive, decent guys looking for action. Yeah, right on. You get it. No Blackman? I like your style. Okay. You wait here. I'll go get Jenna. Yo, Jennifer! Jennifer! Vinny. Babe, you gotta come with me. I got something to show you. Like I've seen it. Come on, babe. For old time's sake. Hey, remember that neon necklace I got you for our first month anniversary? Like it died. Well, if you come with me, I'll get you another one. Okay, I'll go. But like this time. Could you get me a green one? <laughs> like, try no way. Come on, come on, relax, Angel Face. All you, all you gotta do is watch. Come on. Hey, remember I told you this machine was busted? Well, uh, me and my man here, we, uh, we fixed it. Ready anytime you want, pal. Okay. Jennifer Denuccio. <laughs> you! Hey, do I love you or what? Vinny, how could you not love me? I mean, it would be against the laws of nature. Come here. Hey, they say you and I catch that movie, huh? I don't have to worry about you talking to uh, Junior or Bubba anymore, right? 
Vinny, they are in my class, and I gotta talk to you. No. Uh, I'll tell you, I'd really like to join you guys. Well, look, maybe later we can get together and... <laughs> hey! Hey, don't mention it! Yo, Laura! Marshall, I want to talk to you. Great. I want to talk to you. Come with me. Why doesn't anyone want to talk to me? I want to talk to you. And you'll talk back, okay? Sure. That's what I mean, like that. That's what I thought you meant. It is what I meant. That's what I thought. <laughs> Marshall, what are you up to now? Relax, Angel Braze. Face. <laughs> Give me a seat. Would you put these on? You want me to put these on? For me? All right, I'll do it. Just to get this over with. But you know that this machine proves nothing, except that everybody thinks you're a creep. And they think Patty and I are creeps, too, because of our pal, Marshall Blackman. Voila! So what's that supposed to prove? Well, it obviously proves that you um, love me. That's ridiculous. Love has nothing to do with science. It's magic. It's moonlight. It's two minds beating as one heart. It's Diane Keaton skiing across Finland to rescue Warren Beatty, even though he is a communist. But the needle moved. I don't care if the earth moved. All right, I know. I know. It's not my invention, anyway. I sent a wave for it. What? And then I rigged it. See? I was just trying to tr trick you into loving me, that's all. Okay, I lied. I cheated. But I did it all for you. Marshall, I don't need a machine to show me how I feel. How do you feel? I feel I really like you as a friend. I mean, the only reason I make fun of you is because you're so weird. It's nothing personal. Thanks. Ooh, well, now that that's over with, can I still have your braces? Oh, Marshall. Oh, Cisco. <laughs> and so, further study, experimentation, and evaluation in the spirit of science has revealed that this machine is, in fact, nothing but a cheap piece of junk which I sent away for. In other words, we all get upset over nothing. And besides, I mean, what has love got to do with science? It's magic. It's moonlight. It's two minds beating as one heart. It's Diane Keaton. Thank you, Marshall, for that informative explanation of how you cheated in the science room. <laughs> so, like, Vinny, that machine you fixed to prove your love for me? Like, it was a fake? Well, yeah, I guess, but that's so, just... So, like, maybe your love is fake, too? Oh, yeah? Well, how about you? I mean, the machine worked pretty good when I said Bubba Hines. Well, Lauren, I've got a great idea for our own science project. Yeah? The sociological effects of the love detector on Wee High. What do you think? Maybe we could sell it to television. 